Alright, here we are with today's video. Today we are doing something we don't really do that often in, on this channel. We are doing an 82-0 challenge with the Los Angeles Lakers. Recently, I did do an 82-0 challenge against Crushables and you guys seem to really enjoy that. So here we are. We're going to be doing one again. And as you guys also know by that challenge, I'm pretty terrible at them. 2k never goes my way and uh, we need to fix that so we're gonna try and you know get a better record I think our best record was like 72 and 10 or something if I remember correctly So we're gonna try and beat that today first off We're gonna have three seasons uh, starting from after this sim from start today And uh, yeah, we'll try and rebuild the best team possible like I said We'll be do using the Lakers so if we can resign Anthony Davis that would be big uh, But yeah, let's simulate the rest of the season and uh, let's see what happens real quick though If you haven't subscribed to the channel, it would be absolutely amazing if you guys could do that and also if you have hit the like button that will mean a lot as well help us out a lot 55.1 percent of you guys are not subscribed so it'll be absolutely amazing if you guys could hit that subscribe button it'd be it'd mean the world if you guys could do that everyone here wins normal awards like usual for the start today's season and i'm pretty sure you guys don't really care too much about this so um yeah i'll just simulate the playoffs uh we'll start the actual rebuild in the off season the raptors are the champions and kyle larry wins finals mvp they actually beat us in five games if you guys do have any suggestions you guys would like to like to see leave them down in the comments and like the ones that you that have already been commented and i'll get around to doing them probably the day after so if you have an idea or you've seen an idea that you like be sure to hit um, leave a comment and then like it as well that would be absolutely amazing it will help uh, us out as well with ideas especially because i don't have all the time in the world to make up ideas anymore but here we go draft lottery we do not have a good draft pick because we are the lakers the lakers have the 29th pick this is going to be great. Staff signing, Frank Vogel I'm fine with, with Jason Kidden as, as our assistant coach. I'm very all right with. If we can just get a new assistant GM, uh, that will help us out a lot, and we should be okay, okay there. Right off the bat, right off the bat, Danny, Danny Green's contract. I'm afraid that it has to go, because if we can, oh, could we actually like move it? We can get two first from OKC. That could be alright. What if we paired Danny Green with Kuzma? Could we get someone very good that we could actually bring onto our team and use a bit better who could develop? Buddy Heald, I'm going to take the risk on, I reckon. Buddy should be a nice little addition there. Corey Joseph, on the other hand, he's he, he's got to go from this team for sure, man, for sure. He's making $12 million. We'll pair him with Quinn Cook, and could we get Pat Bevan a first, really? That's a trade. Or we can just get two firsts from OKC. Thank you. We'll take those two firsts from OKC there. We've got two players left on our team. If we move Buddy to the small forward, does he go up? I think, yeah, his trade value goes up a little bit. So Buddy plus, we're going to keep AC. We're going to keep Alex Caruso because, you know, we've got to. Is it possible to get someone good or a salary dump here? Well, we can get Mitchell Robinson and a second. That's almost worth it. You know what? I'm going to do this. Try and free up as much cap as we can. We'll go into the draft, pick up someone random here. Try and free up as much cap as we can. And if we can, try and sign Anthony Davis as well as another big man. And then we could trade him away for someone else. Uh, we are getting offered some decent players here. We can get Danny Green back. We can just get Danny Green back. Or we can just get two more firsts from the Rockets. Sure, we'll do that. It's only the 29th pick. It doesn't mean much to us right now. So, yeah, we didn't have any draft picks here. Team player options. Yeah, Anthony Davis has declined. Avery Bradley's come back, which, I mean, okay. Uh, if we could actually... Avery Bradley's actually got a big deal. Same with bloody KCP. Those qualifying offers, we're not going to bring anyone back. And we're going to try and trade KCP and Avery Bradley away because we want to be able to free up some more cap space. Like, just a little bit more so we could sign some players here. So, if we go like this, move Avery to the small forward. I do remember that. Move Avery to the small forward. And we can go Avery plus KCP. What could we get for a bit of a salary dump? We can get a Detroit first. Plus SD. I'll do that. That's a salary dump. Uh, can we then sign two play max players? Almost. Anthony Davis, we will be re-signing for as much money as we can with five years, player options, no trade clause, yes. Uh, and then we need to bring someone in for like 28 million if possible. So yeah, Hassan Whiteside has accepted the deal, but he would prefer to play back in Portland, which I uh, understand. I understand, all right. Uh, and Montrez Harrell, on the other hand, we can get Trez and move him to the power forward and he can be a good trade asset as well. So Trez and Anthony Davis, welcome to the team. So straight up, we're going to move Trez to the power forward and then trade Trez with SV could we possibly get someone decent for our team like a point guard DeJounte Murray's not that bad 
I mean, he's on a cheap deal as well. We can get rid of Paddy Mills. That's pretty easy. So then we're going to go like that. So DeJounte, we're going to move to the shooting guard. He's going to be our starting shooting guard for this entire rebuild. Paddy Mills, I think if we moved him back to the shooting guard, he would have more value. But Paddy Mills, could we get someone here on a cheap deal? We can get two firsts from Phoenix. Thank you. That will work for us nicely. And then we can try and get... Oh, we need to free up four million. So Gallinari is a no-go. Tristan Thompson, on the other hand, if we can get Tristan, that would be decent as well. So just Tristan Thompson, we do get Tristan we can move to the power forward and we need to try and get either a point guard or a power forward so if we go here give up that's phoenix suns lottery protected first could we get i don't know a point guard and derrick rose fits that nicely we also get avery bradley back in that deal so uh, derrick rose we can move to the shooting guard he goes up to an 86 and then we can pair derrick rose with avery bradley once again and hopefully we can get a very good starting point or we can get schroeder and shea yeah we're do oh we have to go alex caruso but i'm sorry like the fans were doing that we're gonna get shea gilgis alexander move shea to the small forward and then pair shea with uh say this probably not that first our first uh could we get like donovan mitchell i'm not sure if he will come up just for some more trade value we'll get alec burks onto the team as well and then we could probably sign some guys on minimum contracts and bring them to our team just to for filling out roster spots okay i didn't expect that trade to go through straight away but we gave up shea alec burks and two firsts one lottery protected by the suns and two seconds one was the knicks Pick. So we've got LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Donovan Mitchell. We've got a big three here that's going to develop nicely there. We've also got DeJounte Murray as our starting point guard now. We can move him back to the point. I mean, what we could actually do then is leave him at the shooting guard and then trade him away. Yeah, okay. You know what? We're going to do this. We're going to do this trade for Covington and Murray for D'Angelo Russell. Just in case you guys don't know, I traded two minimum guys for JaVel McGee moving to the power forward, and then we got Covington, then moved Covington to the small forward. He goes up to an 85. Uh, so yeah, I think our starting five now is okay we could even go for a better starting center if we're being honest here well we just traded mitchell robinson josh okoji and a first for bam out of bio i thought it was going to take a lot more than that but now we've definitely got ourselves a starting five here i'm all right with that starting five well, our bench we got dennis schroeder off of it so we're gonna do bits this season i can already tell i am gonna just simulate down to training camps now i'll see you guys then three training camps here untapped potential we're gonna give it to bam oh no we'll give it to d'angelo russell because apparently he's only an a so we'll definitely make him an a plus we'll go schroeder as well because he's going to be our backup point guard off the bench for the entire rebuild as long as he likes to stay with us and donovan mitchell we'll also make him an a plus as well i don't know why he's not an a plus already i've got a trade here for dante divincenzo uh, I think he'll be nice to come off of our bench here because we still do still need to sort out our bench even though our starting five is okay. So we still need to sort out our bench here. Uh, just picking up anyone that could be decent and we'll focus on our bench next season. I'm thinking Doreen Finney-Smith would be alright. He's a forward. He can play off of our bench. And also, Tory Craig and Kent Bazemore hopefully can get us like a center and then we should be all right. Metu, that nah, he will do. He will do, I guess. I'll see you guys with our rotation all sorted. Rotation for this first season. D'Lo, Mitchell, LeBron, AD, Bam, Dennis Schroeder, Dante DiVincenzo, Dorian Finney-Smith, and Chimzy Metu. Uh, LeBron, AD, and Mitchell are scoring options. We've got a four and a half star system with balance and we are the projected one seed. So hopefully we can get a good record here. I'm not expecting us to go 82-0 because our bench is not deep enough. So after after the first season, we go 61 and 21. LeBron wins MV MVP, sorry, and uh, we win Coach of the Year. Not what we wanted. We wanted to try and go 82 and 0, but I didn't expect us to be able to. LeBron, of course, makes all NBA first team, so I think we need to make our team better here somehow. If you guys were wondering, here are all the stats. If you guys, if you guys were wondering, I guess, uh, don't really care too much about these points per game. We we're first defensively. We were pretty poor defensively. I can tell you that we we're outside the 10, and our differential was first. Or so, oh, how somehow? I'll see you later. Playoffs. I'll see you guys with who that the champions are the clippers are the champions and Kawhi wins finals mvp we actually did lose to them in the western conference finals somehow but that's all right lottery do we have a pick here we did have that detroit first yes we do top three and we go to two all right that's gonna be big at least we got a bit of something with a bit of trade value here so we could trade someone here frank vogel i'm okay with you if you'd like to come back onto the team man i'm very happy with that assistant coach otis newman sure that works with me here we are at the draft and we've literally got one contract here d'angelo plus the second pick Pick. What could we get? Could, we can get the first pick in Fred Van Vliet, uh, Devin Booker, Kevin Walker. You know what? We might as well just use that for that second pick. To get Jalen Green, sure, he could be a good uh, uh, backup shooting guard for our team if we wanted to. We could also use him in a trade. So Jalen, welcome to the teammate. Team player options, uh, LeBron James, we uh, decided to come back. We need to bring back Donovan Mitchell and Bam Adebayo, which could be handy. 
because then we'll have two players that we can uh, trade away on max contracts. That's if they don't get like those small ass contracts for some reason. Schroeder also needs to come back. All right, yeah, fair enough. Dennis Schroeder, we need to bring back and bam out of bio. So we get all three of those guys back. That is lovely. That Those are the three that we really need back anyway because they're like starting in our sixth man. Also in free agency, we do need a few backup players. So we're bringing Norvell Pell and Niccolo Melli if we can get both those guys. That would be lovely for bench players. Also, we could probably use them in trades. Just like this one to get Aaron Baines in a first. Thank you. Three training camps here. We got untapped potential. We're probably going to still have to give it to Dennis Schroeder and DiVincenzo. Because I'm thinking those two guys are going to be big off of our bench. And also, maybe even Aaron Baines, just so he doesn't regress as hard. So this trade comes up for Kyrie Irving. I'm, I mean, this challenge is all about taking risks. So sure, Kyrie Irving is now our new starting point guard. So we've got AD, LeBron, and Kyrie. Oh, all right. Let's see if this works then. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, we need a better starting center. Just saying, we need a better starting center. If we can get a better, oh, Gobert's nice. Thinking about it, this trade could work out nicely for us. We're going to bring Marvin Bagley and De'Aaron Fox onto the team. De'Aaron, we can move to the shooting guard. Bagley, we can move to the power forward. They want to start AD at the five. That is also a possibility, just putting that out there. But what we could do is then trade De'Aaron Fox for Clay Thompson, right? Trade Clay Thompson. He can be our starting shooting guard now. We can then move Donovan Mitchell with, say, I don't know, Noah here. We could maybe get someone nice here for a start, uh, starting center. Nothing was coming up for what I was offering up before. So Clay Thompson... Even though we've got Donovan Mitchell, we don't need Clay, that means. So Rudy Gobert will get Rudy because we need a starting center. And now I'm pretty sure Marvin Bagley will be off the bench. Yeah, Marvin Bagley with DiVincenzo. Will Barton, we could probably move with DiVincenzo to get someone better. What I'm thinking, right, is if we move Marvin Bagley, because he's only got one year left on his deal, so he's probably not going to re-sign with us, uh, get Pascal Siakam to come off of our bench. Siakam's coming off of our bench. I think that's a very good sixth man. Let's put it that way. Very good sixth man. Uh, now, DiVincenzo plus Nick Richards. Could we get a good backup player to come off of the bench? I did see Tybal, which is decent. And he is also the best available player here. So we get Matisse Tybal to come off of our bench. So we got Matisse and Pascal coming off of our bench. Gee whiz. We, however, need a point guard to come off our bench. So we're going to be making a few trades here to try to get ourselves a much better player, point guard off of the bench. We made a few trades and we can get DeAndre Jordan and Nicholas Claxton to come off our bench. DeAndre is nice, but Claxton, we can move to the power forward. He goes up to an 80 overall. And uh, we can then trade Claxton for and someone for maybe a uh, Danny Green for a point guard, hopefully. Or I mean, Shake Milton could work. Shake, sure. We can move him in a small forward and hopefully his value goes up a bit and we can get a point guard to come in for Shake Milton here. Such as Marcus Howard. That should do it. I mean, he's a point guard. And you know what? I'm okay with this team. We're running a Kyrie, Donovan Mitchell, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Gobert starting five. We then have Siakam, DeAndre, Matisse, and Marcus Howard coming off our bench. We've got Anthony Davis, LeBron, and Kyrie Irving as our scoring options. We're running a four and a half star system with balance and and we are the projected one seed. So hopefully we can do well this season. So we end up going 64 and 18. LeBron wins MVP once again. Cade Cunningham, Lamelo, Giannis, DeAndre Ayton, Frank Vogel. I don't understand how this team didn't do better than 18 wins. Uh, losses, sorry. Like, what the hell? Player stats. Three players put up 20 plus points. Siakam put up 15. Donovan, Gobert, Howard, Jordan, Thibel. There you guys go. Team stats don't really care too much. We'll first, we'll first, and we'll first. Don't understand how we lost 18 games, but I'll see you guys with the champions. We are the champions with LeBron winning finals MVP. Final season for the final lottery. We do not have a projected top 15 pick, but I don't even think we have any picks, just saying. No, we didn't. We didn't have a single first round pick. Kyrie has declined, which is a bit upsetting. I would have loved to re-sign Kyrie Irving. Let's just say that. Um, because he's Kyrie Irving, and I would like to have him on our team. We've also got to re-sign LeBron James and Donovan Mitchell. Okay, this is going to be a very tough free agency. LeBron actually only wants a two-year deal for $43 million. Fair enough. I'll give you a player option with that. And a no-trade clause as well. I'll give LeBron like that. I'll give three-year player, no-trade clause. Sure, mate. Donovan Mitchell. I'll give you max amount of money with a player option and Kyrie, I'll give you most amount of money, which is 242 million with a player option and a no trade clause. Could we get you three back, please? 
Yes, we do. We need a cheaper starting sensor, and I'm gonna trade Gobert for Capella, because Capella does just basically the same thing Gobert does, just a little bit less defensively. The only reason we had to do that is because we had to free up cap so we could actually re-sign Donovan Mitchell, which I still don't think we can, because I think it will take us over the hard cap still. Marcus Morris has got to go for two first, because we still need to free up a little bit more cap, so then we could actually re-sign Donovan Mitchell, who I think we can re-sign now. Thank you. Okay, yes, we can. Thank goodness. We need a backup point guard and Isaiah Whitehead. Sure, mate. Sure. I guess you can come onto the team. And Thornton, you can come onto the team as well, Marcus Thornton, if you want. Get both of them, and we can only sign one of them. So Isaiah is on our team. And I'll also bring uh, Brand Watermaker on the team as well. Why in the heck not? And I think we should be all right. Three training camps. Our last set of training camps here, to be honest with you guys. I might actually try and see what I can get for LeBron. Capella, as a starting center, needs to be sent to a camp there. Uh, same with Matisse Tybal and probably even DeAndre Jordan? No, Isaiah Whitehead, sure. You know what? We need to change up the team a little bit, and Donovan Mitchell is the only player that we've had the entire time. I mean, except for LeBron and AD. But we're going to get Devin Booker as our starting shooting guard here, see if that changes anything. Uh, and then I'm also going to see what we can get for LeBron. Even though he's, he's got no trade clause, never mind. We're not, we're not getting rid of LeBron here. What about if I go see Arkham and Capella? What can we get? Nothing crazy. All right, fair enough. I'll sort this all out then. Rotation for this third and final season. Kyrie Irving, Devin Booker, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Clint Capella starting five. We then have Pascal Siakam, Matisse Tybal, DeAndre Jordan, Tyrese Halliburton coming off that bench. We've got a four and a half star system with seven seconds, and we are the projected one seed once again. So hopefully we can at least break the win record here. But knowing me and 2K, it, we're barely going to crack 60 wins. And just like I said, 2K hates every team I put together, no matter how good it is, no matter how many good players and superstars, all-stars I have on a team, we always manage to get fucked over. I love it, 2K. Luka Doncic winning MVP, Patrick Baldwin, LaMelo, Giannis, Isaiah, and Frank Vogel, Coach of the Year. Here's the stats if you guys were wondering. Kyrie was our leading scorer. We had three guys averaging over 20 points a night, and we still managed to lose 16 games. Points per game were first, defensively were second, and differential were first by a landslide, and Somehow, we still managed to lose 16 games. I'm honestly frustrated. You know, this is why I don't do 82 and 0 challenges that often. We watch us lose in the first round as well. That'd be hilarious. That, okay, we're down 1 2 0. We are going to lose in the first round. But, like, this is why I don't like doing 82 and 0 challenges. Just saying, guys, because 2K just fucks me over no matter how good our team we put together. Like, just saying. No matter how good the team is, 2K just decides to make me win 60 games. That's it. We don't even win the championship. We blow a 3-1 lead in the finals, and Jason Tatum wins finals MVP. Thank you, 2K. That's absolutely amazing. Don't you love it when you have two 99s and four... 490s plus Clint Capella. You can move him to the power forward. He'll go up to a 90. Anyway, I'm fucked off. So yeah, like the video if you did. Subscribe if you're new. I'm going to go cry in a corner for a little bit. Catch you guys in tomorrow's video.